honestly wish that I had picked it up sooner. I think that it's probably my favorite book of 2016, like 100% 5 out of 5 stars. Like, if you haven't read this, you need to read it, like, ASAP. I'm gonna say it probably 60 million times in this video. You need to read this book. I'm honestly just in a glass case of emotions after reading this. Like, I don't know what to think. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to go on with my life because, like, I'm still thinking about it. I think the best thing about this book was that I found it at the Dollar Tree for $3, and it's, like, a $38 book. It's a $28 book. $28 American, which means it's, like, a $50 book Canadian. And I got it for $3. So, like, your girl had a steal. So, very excited about that. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with a review of Night Film by Marisha Passell. If you haven't heard of Night Film, I'm, like, not sure where you've been because, like, everybody's talking about this book right now. If you haven't watched Sarah without an H's book talk on this, like, you need to because she's, like, the queen of Night Film. Puts out her points, like, really well, and my review is gonna be all over the place because my reviews are always all over the place. Because I don't talk very well, I just ramble. So I'm gonna leave her link down below if you want to check out her review of this book because she's the reason why I picked up this book. To be honest, I saw it and like freaked out because I was like, Sarah loves this book, so I needed it in my life, and I'm so glad that I finally read it because like five out of five stars, this book is incredible. I put this book off for so long, and I don't know why because it is so good. I've seen so many people talk about it and say how amazing it is. And I was like, yeah, I'll get to it eventually. Like, it's 600 pages. Like, do I really want to read it? But like, if you haven't read this book, you need to read it because it's amazing. This is an adult psychological thriller novel. The book follows investigative journalist Scott McGrath, and he's been hunting the famous horror cult filmmaker Stenalius, I'm probably saying that wrong, Cardova, for a very long time now. He tried to write a story about Cordova and his mysterious ways and ended up just being sued and basically ending his writing career. Several years later, the suicide of Cordova's daughter, Ashley, causes McGrath to become very interested in the famous film director once again. Starting a new investigation into Ashley's death, McGrath ends up meeting two teenagers, one named Nora and one named Hopper, who become basically his right-hand man in the investigation. As the three of them travel farther into the mysterious world of Cardova, they find that the truth may not always be what it seems. I honestly could not put this book down. I found myself up at like 3 in the morning, way past my bedtime, flipping the pages. Being like, just one more chapter. Like, I just need to know what happened. I just need to know the next thing that happened. Like, <laughs> can't sleep now because this just happened, so I need to know what happens next. This book was such a mind screw. One point you think you know what's going on, and then two seconds later you're like, Oh, okay. Like, that's not what I thought was gonna happen, but okay. And then you keep reading, and then it happens again, like, three minutes later, and it's just a whole roller coaster of emotions that it takes you on. It was really cool to read because one second you thought one thing was happening and then your whole idea of the case just got twisted around completely and you were thinking a completely other thing and it was just so much fun to read because you were literally just like sitting there with your mouth hanging open every two seconds because you didn't know what was going to happen next. Half the time I think I was more confused about what was going on than I actually knew what was going on. There's a lot of like multimedia different pictures kind of thing, like newspaper articles and things like that, which made the book so much more intriguing to me. And it's really cool because there's an app that goes along with it. Unfortunately, it's not available in Canada, so like I couldn't use it, but apparently it makes the book like interactive, and I think that that's so cool. If you're in America, you could probably do it. Scott, who's the main character, was kind of an asshole, and I didn't like him, but I also really liked him at the same time, if that makes sense. Like, I didn't like him as a character, but I wanted him to succeed. I don't know how to explain it. He was like a terrible human being and like an even worse father, but his like daughter Sam was the cutest little thing ever and I just wanted to like hug her every time she was in the novel. Like she was so adorable. But I just thought Scott was like super self-centered and rude and kind of sexist at times, but I still liked him, but I hated him at the same time. I don't really know how to explain my feelings about Scott, but he was a good main character, but also a really bad main character. I did really like how by the end of the book he turned his whole life around and he became less self-centered and less rude and he kind of stepped up as a father and as a friend and things like that, so I did enjoy that part of the book. I really liked Nora. I found her a little bit naive and kind of annoying at times, but she was so quirky that you couldn't help but love her at the same time. And then Hopper, I liked him the most, I think. He was really intriguing to me and I wanted to know what he was going to do next. Half the book is kind of revolved around him being mysterious as well, so I really liked learning more about him. I think Cardova was the most interesting character to me, even though we never really meet him or get to interact with him. Learning his, like, backstory and, like, the things about his film, honestly, like, 
by the end of the book, all I wanted to do was watch a Cardova film. Like, it just seems like it would be so cool. And, like, I love that horror stuff, so I feel like I would really enjoy his movies. I think the writing was done in such a way that it was really easy to vividly visualize everything that was happening. Like, I could clearly see everything that was unfolding. And I think that the plot was very thrilling and suspenseful and creepy all at the same time, which made it just so much more enjoyable for me. Just the entire experience of reading this book was so amazing. Like, there's so many twists and turns and just plot points that you don't see coming. The plot of the book was just so intriguing and it's honestly just like this big wild goose chase that you get sent on. I'm usually able to call everything that goes on in books but with this book I was literally sitting there with my jaw hanging open half the time because I would have it, it like convinced in my mind what was going on and then something else would be uncovered and it would completely flip everything and I was just like oh okay and then you would read the next page and it would happen again and it was just such a roller coaster and like Oh, so good. I loved how all the interviews that McGrath and Nora and Hopper did on their journey all kind of came together in the end and everything connected and I thought that that was really interesting and really well done because in a lot of books there's a lot of loose ends that don't come back together and get tied up but with this book everything tied up so perfectly and it was just so good and well written and I just loved it. The ending had me sitting there and like contemplating life. Like I still don't even know what happened with it. Like I'm not sure 100% what actually occurred. Like it, it was honestly like you were in a Cardova film where you're just left sitting there with a cliffhanger and you have to contemplate what actually happened. Like that's what the book felt like, which I think was such a cool concept that it literally left off like a Cardova film. Honestly, I think this book needs to be made into a movie like ASAP. Like I think it would transition so well onto the big screen and I would like pay a million dollars to watch that. Not a million because like you're real cheap, like maybe like $11 because like that's the going rate for movies. But like I would watch this as a movie. Like I think it needs to happen. And like Warner Brothers or somebody like, is Warner Brothers still even make movies? I don't know. But like some big movie company, make this into a movie please. Like I will pay you. Alright guys, so that was my review of Night Film. Five out of five stars. Like honestly, highly recommend it. Probably my favorite book of 2016. I thought it was incredible. It was such a great reading experience It was super thrilling super suspenseful, and I just loved every second of it It only took me like three days to read and usually a 600 page book takes me like a month So I highly recommend it. I think it's an amazing read. I think you should all read it And I will see you all in my next video Goodbye